All right, people, this uh, the video I was talking about with the cracking and popping um, coming through with y'all. I got, the, I got on the microphone for you. How you check it out? Just, <laughs> just kidding, but let's, let's go ahead and get to it right quick. Uh, let's go to options. I got my headphones on. I don't have my uh, my speakers on. I think it's really, you know, not needed because I'm talking in my mic. And I remember basically what I did, but uh, hold on, let me do that again. You gotta go through your um, go to your options. I think most of the people know that they got uh, Ableton. You go to your preference, um, hit on your options, go to the preference, and then from there, you want to hit here on your hardware uh, setup. And then you know you see here, I got all this set up. I have the Fast Track Pro as my uh, audio in interface so and I was having problems the last couple of days I stayed hours trying to get rid of the cracking and popping popping and all of that so but the one thing I noticed I was going through this with the buffer size you click on and the, like they say you go left to right and to try to get to get the cleanest sound coming through, you know, coming to your speakers, coming out of your speakers. So, and I did it back and forth. I clicked on this. I was just doing all type of things. Then come to find out, I went and stopped messing with these two. At first, I don't know if you're going to hear this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this. Hold on. I take this off, and I clicked on this. And I just thought having, I, when it first was on this, that's the cracking was, it was just horrible. It was coming throughout my speakers. Horrible. I went all the way from left to right, right to left, back and forth, kept doing it. And I just couldn't really figure it out. So, and I also had this on too. So I was just like, okay, what's going on? So I was like, all right. Let me try something different. So I click that off. I'm like, all right. I've taken that off. And then I clicked on the force WDM driver. And then um, I was still having some type of delay. So, but still, I just went from there. And I just thought, you know, I actually went from left to right. And I say about around, around this 256. 224 with with uh the m audio interface the crackling and pop has stopped it was uh it was a clear sound so i was just like wow finally so i don't know how long if you guys probably can hear this knowing that it's finna be coming through finna it's about to be coming through uh my headphones i doubt it i don't know what that was Oh, my computer, my laptop, just telling me things. Just once again, just want to be nosy. Just some type of noise, want to just intervene while I'm talking, making these videos. But let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but at first, just really couldn't hear it. It was just crackling and popping. And I was hearing more of that than I was hearing the actual sound. So, But I just want to give you guys an insight on this. And, um, you know, hopefully it works for you if you got a, uh, M audio interface. So pay attention to these two, these settings right here. And, uh, if, if you still having problems, force it, you know, the WDM driver to 16 bit and see what that does for you. It, it helped me as soon as I, I clicked on it, bam. And I just thought going here, I was basically already close to, um, a hundred samples and but I noticed a uh, change instantly and I was like oh okay before I know it, it was gone so maybe this could help some people I don't know if people got the other different audio you know so many audio interfaces but this is with the M audio fast track interface uh, with fast track pro which is years it's years old and you know I know I, I well I won't say I have to upgrade because that should have a I have a multi mix eight, at least a uh, at least a uh Alessa. Well you pronounce it, whatever. Um receiver 
slash no mixer mixer here but uh the power source and went bad so i meant to order another one and um, i just got back to using the fast track the m audio so but that'll be all you know if any anybody got any other tricks or any ways of situations they've been through dealing with this with the uh Ableton software and the audio inf uh, interface feel free to uh, put a comment subscribe please please subscribe because I told you I would be doing more more of these videos and trust there is more to come because I know what you've been waiting on got some uh, unboxing I still got my Sony uh, Bluetooth which beautiful sounding headphones earbuds so that is definitely coming soon until then all right people talk to you later aj tech out here